Hello everyone, just a quick update on the status of the Golden State stimulus. We are still waiting on the governor to sign the stimulus bill, which was passed by the state legislature back on June 28th and delivered to him on June 30th. The expectation was that he was in fact going to sign the bill on July 1st with several other bills. Now while he did sign two other bills that day, the stimulus bill was not one of them. So what appears to be holding this up is the fact the legislature needs to finalize the state budget. Why this is important is because the budget needs to be passed in order for those stimulus payments to start going out. It really is all a formality at this point since the budget has been agreed upon and the governor will sign it along with the stimulus bill. Now the state senate is set to take action on July 5th which appears to be for a final vote. The state assembly will do the same and then it will be sent to the governor. So a good chance he signs the overall budget and stimulus bill together. At that point, the timeline for payments will be updated on the Franchise Tax Board's website. The timeline is expected to resemble Phase 1 of the Golden State Stimulus Payment Distribution, which was one to two weeks for direct deposits and four to six weeks for paper checks after the timeline was published. Given the state has already done this once before and peak tax season has passed, it seems it should move fairly quickly. There are still ongoing questions about the stimulus. Again, this is a second phase of the Golden State Stimulus, which is for those who have not received a stimulus check already and had gross income of up to $75,000 in the year 2020. It also provides an additional one-time payment of $500 if you claimed any dependents on your tax returns. It should also be noted stimulus payments are exempt from any tax debt owed to the California Franchise Tax Board for income taxes or any other government agency. There were some comments in the last video asking if you filed your 2020 income taxes in California but have since moved out of the state, do you qualify? Based on the text from the bill, it indicates you need to be a California resident on the date the stimulus payment is sent out as seen here. Now, if you've qualified for the Golden State Stimulus already and have not received it, do check if you've claimed that California earned income tax credit on your tax returns. That was needed in order to receive that stimulus payment. If you have met all requirements and claimed that tax credit and still not received your stimulus payment, at this point you will need to reach out to the California Franchise Tax Board for assistance. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation, so make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.